From the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get a Life Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered, spilled all over Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. Hear what I'm saying? And tonight's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Los Angeles Volts go up against the New York Threats. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Fix Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. Four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drop up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. One time, 
when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Straight through the uprights. isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Second down and six. for steak tartare. shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third and two. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And it's first and ten. Man, oh man. 
man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet at crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines... He's supercharged and can electric you fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown. What a great defensive play. And here comes the extra point attempt. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. And it's first and ten. Picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Get him, come on, get him on sight, and I'll go and spin it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And he's off to the races. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Yeah. 
Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. So much for the bombs weight dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Third down and five. Trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Second down and two. The sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Rick? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I love this job. Third and four. We're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I hit mastered it. Man, what a hit that was. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Third and four. They could not connect on that play. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Man, this coach must have... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Yeah. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time cramp. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a cop I was at home. Right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks, it means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. And it's first and 10. That's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just hey, pet your rabbit. Hey, we're going to get him now. Get him now. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. First and ten. Watch out, the ball carriers brought a change to the Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The ten. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score.
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoffs. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. The Lynn catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Quarterback calls a Sonic, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. And this ref is definitely on the tank. That was a bogus penalty. And this is a first and low. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible now. Just got to scrape off the charge parts. Third down and eight. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking. The QB threads the nail for two points. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. Greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a 
shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, grab the kids on the back to him. <laughs> Second down in a lot. for a first down to keep the drive alive. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Perfect pass and a score! Hey, Bricks, you ever see me dancing like that? Please shoot me. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! That's a real buzzkill. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second and three. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice.
first and ten. See that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. Second down and ten. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and long. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screw. He dies and fumbles. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Tartar. Second down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Third and four. He had it for a second there. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> it's a sabotage. 
It's like when you... Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. Oh, the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked down? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. of speed he finds an opening and the first down and it's first and ten he was starting to go somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as only two minutes left in the game Second down and seven. He picks up five on that play. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And he punched his way out of that tackle. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk guys. Receiver explodes, and everyone on both sidelines looks very angry. Yeah, he owed him a lot of money from what I hear, Tim. Like a lot. You do it to you. First down and forever. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Second down and more than the QB would like. It's two-yard run before he stopped.
And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Nice run! They run it hard and pick up the first down! This ain't over yet, folks! First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. The defender says, I don't think so. The New York Threats win today's game. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other...